absolutely delighted to be joined with my good friend, by my good friend, Sinead de Butler, aka Sinead de Blogger. Um, she's taken time out to give me a quick interview while she's down in Cork. So welcome to the studio, Sinead. Thank you. It's great and to be here. Thanks, thanks so much for taking the thank time. Thank you for asking me. It's a, it's a privilege to be in here today. So, yeah. so blogger, full-time nurse. Yeah. And stylist on the Today Show. Yeah, you could say that. Yeah, I don't see it as a big deal, but like, yeah, it's, you it's know. It's huge, a huge deal. How do you balance? Nursing is such an intense profession sometimes, and um, it is a huge responsibility goes to, let's say, and you're looking after people and their lives, obviously. Um, so this is like a total contrast from nursing per se, and it's a hobby. I do because it's genuinely something that I love, and I love fashion, clothes, styling. Um, creating looks and putting bits and bobs and together. And you always look so gorgeous and uh, so well so put you. together. <laughs> oh, stop it. <laughs> Mutual appreciation yeah, association. I know, it's the Sinead. <laughs> <laughs> and I actually find the writing quite therapeutic um, as well when I am blogging, like when I am writing content, I actually find it kind it's of a therapeutic. It's a bit of escapism as Yeah, such. exactly. From the exactly. real world From to the a degree. World, yeah. And now I know the current market is flooded with mm. bloggers and you certainly do stand out for your individual style and your impeccable yeah. style. But what what makes you feel well, I that you're different? Well, I suppose I maybe having a full time job is probably a bit more eye catching. Maybe people can relate to that a lot more. And up until recently, I worked shift work, um, or not shift work, night duty. So. Mm -hmm. Um, night duty entailed obviously five nights on and I wrote a lot of blog posts about how I cope on nights, what are my tips to survive night duty and as well as that like skincare tips on nights and how to look after your skin um, and I suppose that like was a huge reach for me and I could see that people loved that side of things mm -hmm. because people are doing this every day and this is their job. It's very relatable. Yeah so yeah. that's what I wanted it to be so I suppose that definitely helps. Um, but the fact that you're a real person. Yeah, I think so. And that's you know, what it boils think, down to. Yeah. yeah, and I think people are great who can blog full time and make money from it or whatever. But um, I suppose for me, like that's kind of the feedback that I get from people is that, oh yeah, like I do that as well. So um, if people see you doing something like that, I suppose they can say, well, oh, we could do it. I mean, there's scope for anyone else and um, you can kind of get the best of both worlds as well. Fantastic. Now, I also believe, and for people that don't know you, uh, that you were the Kil Kilkenny Rose of Trilly? Yeah, <laughs> so long ago. Um, it was 2011, I was the Kilkenny Rose. And um, I suppose people have this idea of the Rose of Trilly, um, that it's kind of a lovely ladies' competition, everything else, but it's actually so much more um, behind the scenes and what goes on and the friendships that you make from it. Mm -hmm. Um, I suppose the big thing for me was a confidence um, boost and you know like getting up on stage like I could never even dream about speaking in front of people never mind doing it on telly but it was such a boost um, so I represented the county for a year and um, I got involved with Chernobyl Children International after that and I got to go to the orphanages and, as a medical aid worker um, and kind of do, did some charity fundraising and fashion shows and event management. So it just opened so up. So a, a mix of you yeah. between the nursing and the yeah. style. And yeah, exactly. That's so lovely. I was using kind of the style inside of things to um, create um, money and um, try and do fundraising for Chernobyl Children International. So it just kind of opened up a lot more doors. And then I was doing a couple more bits in Kilkenny with events and stuff and um, it was just a real confidence booster and um, I would say to anyone who's even thinking about it like 100% do because the telly shows two days in the space of a few hours of what goes on mm -hmm. but like the people you met like I managed to meet my boyfriend through the festival friends of friends and yeah it's just um, people gain so much from it and especially you know someone who can go on and become the Rose of Trilly um, what they can get for it from it like for instance Maria Walsh I mean she's done a lot of TV work since yes. as well and she's yeah. a real kind of style icon she you know she's, stands out. she's she? stunning so um, definitely it was like a huge kind of gateway to open up more things for me along oh. the way <laughs> that's fantastic that's fantastic. no as I said earlier you're always so impeccably presented mm. Would your wardrobe at home reflect that? And I ask that now because yeah. my wardrobe is a complete mess. Mine is a okay. complete mess. <laughs> really? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm not alone in the world. It's like, and I do try and do tips on like wardrobe clear outs and managing your wardrobe. But like, I think space is a big thing um, as well. Like, so hopefully down the line when I get my own place, um, slide wardrobe, sliding wardrobes are the plan or a walk in just to have um, kind of more of an idea 
of, of what you have. Yeah, because sometimes <laughs> when forget? I don't see, yeah, when things are folded up as well, you forget what you have and then you go to look for something and you find something else. Um, I do try and buy block colour pieces sometimes mm -hmm. because they're easy to rewear again. You just change the accessories each time you wear it. So for instance, like a blue or a coral dress, block colour, you can change it up by teaming it with a yellow accessory or red or anything else like that. So that would be something. Um, and then try and have your wardrobe kind of into like your work stuff um and then kind of casual wear and then obviously occasion wear as well but like that see that's happen. lovely in theory you know yeah. but in my house yeah. it's Too just ah, that fits there yeah. that that's fine that's fine that's but fine. i don't think like as regards style tips like or rules i don't really think there is huge rules per se i, I definitely think shape wear um, wearing um, items that suit your shape is big but there's no rules as to what you can or can't put together because fashion is forever trait changing there's always trends coming and going so um i think it's kind of it, it's a way of expressing your personality so if i was to just put it to you now mm. staple pieces for spring summer 2018 yeah so i think the suit we were chatting about this earlier oh, on like the power the suit power it's suit. just such a strong look it represents but you feel feminism don't yeah you? you just feel i think there's just something and you're complete with that you've got your trousers and your jacket you don't need anything else like that's the look as is now obviously you can put a top underneath it if you like but i just think it's a really strong one um again like the red in the power suit i think is huge and slogan t-shirts underneath is fab this yeah, year yeah. um i always say like a good pair of jeans like you can never go wrong just denim either skinny or whichever you know you like to wear on a personal um, level is really important like invest in a good pair of jeans mm -hmm. well um, i merge if i come across a pair of jeans that i happen to like yeah. or love i try and take two pairs on the exactly. same day exactly and always drop a size because they do tend to stretch as you wear them or even as you wash them i'm trying to think as well um hmm. i think um soft pastels are really really good as well and um, they always come back like they're kind of fresh spring summer um, and you'll always see pastels coming back in um, in summer of course yeah mm. now I know your time is limited because you have yeah. to hit the road back to Dublin yeah but just as a final question what is your favorite social media platform I know that you're hugely successful on Instagram, Facebook, God, you're blowing me Snapchat. Up. <laughs> I'm saying it as it is today, you know, <laughs> saying it as it is. Um, which is your preferred? Um, I really love Instagram, I have to say, mm -hmm. because it's just visual. And I think with fashion and images and stuff like that, visual is everything and it's so strong and you know the less writing the more kind of visual so i think that would be my favorite um, platform it's definitely the one i check first thing in the morning it's like yeah. when i i should read the newspaper but instagram's like my newspaper it's the yeah, first I'm thing i'm kind of getting check. a bit like that myself yeah. now you know it's slow to get in, into instagram Facebook, you yeah. know i have to say and it's harder if you want to try and grow a blog because you need to sponsor just to and invest. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's a hard one. Now there is kind of an, a same algorithm with Facebook and Instagram. They are kind of interconnected, but I do find the reach is definitely better on Instagram. Um, it's just a stronger um, kind of way of getting stuff out there. So like if anyone was starting a blog, I definitely think start with Instagram and you can use all your hashtags to get more engagements and reach more people as well. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's definitely my favorite. I'm completely gone off Snapchat. I just have oh, lost. Yeah, all. I did I did some time ago. My battery kept going dead, to be very honest yeah, with you. So I didn't leave any time battery, for any other form the of update, social media. Like even my views, it's just a pity because it's a real personal platform yes. and people can really get to know you that way. I think that's really important because obviously it's nice to know people that, face value like not just through Facebook or Instagram so I'm a bit disappointed with the snapchat update I'm still hoping they might bring it back but if they haven't already I don't think they will yeah, but you know what you can spend so much time on social media that's probably nearly better to just have one or two to focus on because otherwise you're on it all day of course well yeah. we're on it all day anyway yeah, Sinead. We are. <laughs> listen thank you so thank much it's been such a pleasure for having me invested you up know. you're brilliant thank you so much no that's problem. Sinead de Butler aka Sinead the blogger so check her out on our social media platforms thanks again Sinead